I, I didn't know who to call, so I thought I'd call you because I, this has got to get out, um, this new voting law. I live in West Virginia. We got, we're got we getting letters from fellow West Virginians. That's what it says up in the return address. Fellow West Virginians are sending us letters saying we needed to call Senator Manchin and tell him to vote yes for this bill. Now, I'm not stupid. I wasn't born yesterday. I looked at the return where the, where they stamp it, where where the mail goes yeah. through. Now, our mail our mail does not come through San Francisco. It doesn't come through anywhere in California. But that's what it was stamped through. Mm-hmm. I cannot find the return address either. Of course not. So these letters are coming in in a disguise to make people think, oh well, another West Virginian wants this to happen, maybe I should vote yes too. And that's it's a it's a lie. It's nothing but a lie. And they're using these tricks and I I didn't know who to go to. I didn't know if I should go to my local news or whatever to stop them. But these letters are being sent out to fool other West Virginians, and I don't know what to do about it. Well, you need to, uh, you need to go to your local news. I, I, doubt, I don't know that they're a reporter, but you need to go to your local news. And, and you know, I'll just, I, I'll just say uh, to our listening audience in West Virginia, which is very large, I, I would tell you, don't be duped. This is the deception. This is the darkness that we're pushing against doing this because they hear us saying, call Joe Manchin and encourage him for standing strong. And the other side is sending letters directly to you in West Virginia saying, you know, um, your fellow West Virginians want this vote. I'm telling you, you you cannot be deceived. You're just going to have to, you can choose people who you want to believe. But uh, I, th- I think that's great what John just was talking about there and, and checked out the postmark. Do the same. Check it out. See where it's coming from. A fellow West Virginian would be sending a letter from West Virginia, right? Or is that or, or we don't understand that. Right. So right. we need. It would not go yeah, it's not coming from California. That's for sure. Uh, it would. Um, I mean, why would, it, why would that be? So I, I just, I, you know, look, this is this is a battle for America. This is why Biden won. This is what it's all about. We're seeing it in two bills, H.R. 1 and H.R. 5. If you wanted to know why the puppeteers that are pulling um, um, Biden's and Harris's strings, if you want to know what it's all about, if you want to know a little bit about their ideology, if you want to know about where they're trying to get the country to and how they're going to start doing it, number one, they already got state-run media so they can do all the propaganda they want. They already have that taken care of. Now it's about getting some critical bills passed so they can go to the next step. God only knows what the next step is after these two bills. But I would strongly suggest that you go read the two bills. It's not that complicated. Liberty Council has broken it down to points that you need to know. And these two bills alone are going to be the destruction. One bill is going to be the destruction of Christianity. I don't say that lightly, or I'm not trying to, again, uh, put hyperbole on it, but it's the destruction of Christianity. You'll see it when you read it. H.R. 5. They need that because they can't have a moral compass or a moral yardstick by which to be measured by. That's what Christians bring to the table. They can't have it. They don't want it. And the only thing they can do is try to destroy it. That's H.R. 5. H.R. 1 is to make sure that after all the destruction is done— and all the bills are passed that they get the vote again. So now that the foundation will be laid, that they can continue to build upon it to get us to the society that they want to get us to. That's what this is about. So H.R. 1 and H.R. 5 are critical bills. And it was already told that H.R. 5 was going to get slipped in somehow next week to get a vote on. And H.R. 1 now has the go-ahead if the rumor of the compromise of Manchin, which it obviously seems like it has, is true, then we're in big trouble. Because of the way they're attaching this bill to a uh, piece of 
uh, uh, spending legislation. They only need a simple majority. If Manchin caves, then we have a 50-50 vote in the House. That means Harris steps in is the, and is the deciding vote. Terrible stuff. Wow. John, I, I really appreciate your weighing in and, and letting me know that because I did not know it. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.